Uh, let's keep on coming up here then with this. There's tons going on already in this game. Uh, should I get a capsule on the way? Yeah, it's probably worthwhile. Especially if I get a tank boost. Uh, right, let's... Come on down here and figure out what that is. It's going to be hard for me to get planets over here with a yaw in the way. So I'm, I'm thinking of coming down here and coming down here. That's more likely. But remember, they have a big movement advantage on me. So it's going to be... Yeah, it's very, very, very hard to out colonize the AI at this level. And nearly impossible above it. Okay. Right, so let's not forget that colony should have been there as well. Hopefully I didn't forget it last turn, but I'm, who knows, I may have done. Um, let's get that over to uh, here. Right, and I cannot, yeah, if I'm forgetting colony ships and with the start near to them, that's not going to be great. Right, probably increases my tax rate and I might as well. Okay, so 40% will net me 4 credits. Not a big point in doing that, but uh, I guess it did. Right, let's end the turn. I really, really hope that the Yor don't uh, go for an influence bonus government, which they do exist. Uh, it could be a big problem later on. Right, we've actually got our first citizen. Okay, so that's pretty significant. Uh, right. I need to, uh, yeah, pick this. Often now I would go for Scientist and stick him straight on Jurangi to get a 30% bonus. I don't need Administrators because I've got tons. So I'm actually recording this part of the video on a different day to when I recorded the rest of the video. Something has come to my attention I definitely need to mention. So when I'm recording this, the first couple of videos of this Let's Play have gone up to YouTube. And I'd just like to thank you all for all of your amazing uh, comments and likes so far. Someone was kind enough to mention in comments something about administration points and the fact that I seem to be getting more than they are in their game. Now at first I thought they were mistaken or perhaps had installed the game incorrectly, it had an earlier version. But as it turns out, they are correct and I am getting more administration points than I'm supposed to be getting. Uh, basically, I thought that this was a change in intrigue, but it isn't. What's happened is when I changed the map size deaths file when I was modifying the maximum habitable planet setting, well, I modded uh, the wrong file. There are actually two of them. One is found within the base game and one is found within the Crusade expansion. And I modded the base game rather than the Crusade version. Now, believe it or not, I have actually uh, modded this for a Let's Play before. In fact, I modded it for the Crusade Let's Play I did, and I must have done that correctly. But it seems I forgot that there were two different files this time round. So, in the one change is basically to do with the administration points. In the base game, uh, it's based on the map size. So, for example, a tiny map gets an extra 10 points, the biggest map gets an extra 100, huge is an extra 40. In the Crusade file, you start with a base amount of 3, and I think that's for pretty much all the map sizes. Maybe there's a tiny bit more for the largest ones. So I'm getting an extra 37 administration points than I should be, which uh, is definitely beneficial to me, uh, I would say. Now, maybe it's not crazily beneficial. I know the game pretty well, and I know how to get a lot of administration points quite early on, but... So yeah, there's no way around it. I'm definitely getting a bigger boost than I should have been. So I'm really sorry about that fact. I didn't mean to uh, mod the RON file and muck up in this way. But yeah, it's, there is a bit of a difference to how things should be because of that. Uh, if you're wondering what I would have done had I had less administration points, well, probably the first two or three picks for citizens, I would have picked the administrator. Uh, this save game is basically the same game, but the earliest save I had was turn 5, so I've just ended turn up until this point. I'll be getting back into the proper Let's Play very shortly, but I'll 
quickly mention this. Yeah, I would probably hire two or three administrators uh, for the first citizens, definitely. And I would be hoping to get these resources later on so you can get more administration points. Uh, I would also, uh, if I had less administration points in this let's play, I would probably uh, beeline this a lot sooner. Uh, basically you can get an extra three administration points there an extra three there as well and I may even have built some of these buildings as well uh, to get a few more administration points as it turns out I don't think it affects things too much uh, I'm not sure I mentioned but yeah I've recorded up to about turn 52 53 uh, so it's far too uh, late in the game for me to do anything retroactively sadly at that point but yeah, I just wanted you to know what happened, basically, how uh, yeah this situation came about. So basically, up until turn 52, 53-ish, I'm completely unaware that there's uh, this issue in, in the following videos that will come out. Uh, yeah, basically I thought that uh, it was a change in intrigue, and uh, it wasn't. So yeah, that hope that clears uh, things up. And at this point, let's get back to the Let's Play. I don't need administrators because I got tons. Um, Thirty percent bonus on Renji. Well, it would boost my science a bit, but it's not a crazy amount, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so I would often do that, but I think in this case, maybe the slave master will be better. It mentions only useful on planets, but can boost both ship and social construction by 25% each basically and this I believe is a drenching only citizen I think I'm not 100 100% sure um, yeah this may be better often frankly though for them so I'm gonna get him in this instance since I need to get these uh, colony ships out quickly if I've got any chance of getting a lot of colonies here uh, right so with the citizen as well I'm going to want to place him on Drenji. So let's transfer Dr. Dinrog to Drenji. He's now placed there. Okay. So, yeah, this should have increased. You can see there's Slave Master plus 25%, and Slave Master there as well, plus 25%. So, yeah, it's based on. Rural productions, we're already getting quite a big boost here. I really could do with getting to the next ideology to get more production now. Uh, that's two turns, it's going to be in. Uh, let's keep on making work camps then. Can I upgrade? Uh, do I have the tech to. Oh, it's coming next turn, okay. Uh, this work camp there, let's make that there. Right. And let's get this capsule. That's actually giving me a tech boost and it actually completed it. Brilliant. So we can now make cities later on, but you need a lot of food to make them. That increases the pop, of course. There's a couple of missions or projects here. Okay. So next, I think I'm going to switch back to trying to get that for a movement boost. And uh, later on, I may start coming down here. There's a couple of governments unlocked with this. Um, yeah, and there's a leader unlocked as well, which is damn good. So I think I'll be coming off towards there. And if I get that, I can talk to the aliens. But we'll go for that for now. Because uh, the you have a significant movement advantage on me. Uh, let's come down there then. That has no planets. Um, I guess I'll keep on coming out over here for a bit. Right. That has nothing. That has nothing. That means that there you are probably going to come over here more than coming over there maybe. Um, let's what 
weakness, weakness go to. Yeah, I think I'm gonna bring this down here now. Okay. Uh, I'll go to there and then, yeah, first towards there. Okay. Right, what next? So I could colonize that now, or I could try and grab that, and I think I'm going to try and grab that, but this could uh, turn out badly for me. I could lose a planet because of it. And even if I grab that, I could lose it later on. So this is debatable. But, uh, yeah, it's a precursor world, so let's go for it, shall we? Uh, there's more capsules and whatnot. Okay, so um, I think I should grab these in the hope of getting an attack boost, they're pretty good capsules. So I'm going to yeah, go for this. An extra treasury wouldn't hurt either. So, um, yeah, I might be able to get something here. Okay, there's no colony in there. Is the tax rate? Uh, it's fine, by the looks of it. So, let's end turn. Okay, I lost out on that. Not a big surprise at all. The question is now, do I go for that or not? Oh, wow. Well, this is an unwelcome sight. Uh, Altarians are down there and they've uh, colonized that. I, My starting location is looking, uh, yeah, less good all the time, frankly, here. So, how many planets am I going to be able to get? Maybe. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe. I want to get at least ten, really. Um, maybe there's planets up here for me to grab. Uh, not definitely, though. So, yeah, this is looking like uh, tougher at the moment. Um, do I colonize that then? It's very, very debatable. I mean, I'm going to end up at war with these guys at some point. It's definite. But, um, and in theory, maybe I could go for an influence government and try and flip those. It's not. Yeah. An awful, awful idea. I could go for media assimilation, which is amazing at influence. I think this has actually changed. There was a uh, patch uh, that's uh, reduced this prior to release. Uh, I think this patch is probably the version that you'll be using on release. Games out, of course, on um, April 11th, uh, when these videos are going up. Yeah, this used to be 25, the influence growth there. And it was pretty crazy, the influence it gave. Um, so I could maybe go for that, but that government has its downsides as well. Um, let's have a look at this. I uh, can't declare war with it. Uh, environmental engineering tech I would need for it, which is... Where? Uh, I don't actually know. Environmental engineering. Ah, there it is. Okay, that's probably on a route that I would take. I think I'm going to go for this. Could be a very bad idea. And if it ends, I end up in a war early on, it uh, would, yeah, not be good. I could have them sending colony ships up here. I could lose out on one of these very easily. But, yeah, going to go for it. Um... Right, we get enough colony in the turn. Right. Let's get this capsule. Okay, that will help. Oh, wow, there's an artifact there. Artifacts can give... Um, oh, and we got all these upgrades as well. Let's actually rush that one. Yeah, so let's start uh, upgrading those. Artifacts used to give you free text, but I don't think that's the case anymore with the current version of the game. I think what they may do, though, is complete uh, projects sometimes, or buildings on your nearest place. 
So in theory you could like stick a wonder in here and get it completed. There are some wonders that are here but I don't actually have the uh, things that would um, yeah, uh, complete them so I'm not going to able to do that uh, sadly. Uh, maybe I could stick the farm in a list or something like that though if I really wanted to. But well, I'm not sure I'm going to. Um, okay, I'm going to come down. If the Altarians are there, that means down here is unlikely to be colonizable. Um, I might come down here a little bit though. Not sure about this to be honest. Okay. But this moves so quickly I can get it back up there in a bit anyway. Right. Okay, so I think that's it for the turn. Tax rate probably fine. Um right, let's end the turn. Am I gonna lose that on anything? No, not yet. Uh, right. I'm probably going to have to get a colony ship down today very soon or the Altarians will nick it. Uh, okay. Right, let's move. Let's see what's up here. Let's get this artifact. Off, yeah, often these artifacts seem to be worse than capsules, to be honest. Just credits. Uh, that has no planets. I should be able to see up here, though. Capsules. I guess I won't get that one yet, but let's go and go head off towards that. Right. Uh, I guess I'll find out about that world and then loop a bit down. Oh, there's actually a the world there, but it's a long way away. Two, in fact. And uh, we've got the Trenjan and the Altarians pretty nearby. So at the moment it's looking like I'm going to be able to find a lot of Habitor worlds but probably not be able to colonize them because I've got people too near me and they're a lot faster than me because of the difficulty. Yeah, the movement change is so massive. The eyes always struggle with movement and uh, now it's not the case. Okay. Uh, so should we colonize that? It's a good question. Uh, let's stick in. What was it? That one. Right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for these three. So let's get this one over to there. Let's take a billion off that. Gonna run out of population here pretty soon, and that's a big problem. That's gonna limit how uh, quickly I can colonize, to say the least. So I could quite do with colonizing that to get more population, remarkably, nearby. That's another good reason to colonize, uh, yeah, the home system world. Uh, right, let's colonize this then. Oh, actually, let's have a look. Uh, Arto, Carpus, Virals, and Food. I'm gonna want to check well, you know what? I need to pick uh, Malevolent no matter what here, so normally I would check, but in this case, oh, to be honest, that's not great. Minus 10% population cap, free precursor ship. I don't know how good that is. Could be the best option potentially, but that's not very nice. So I might not want to make cities on here with that. And it's half decent world as well, which is a bit of a shame. Um, okay, i got to go for this. Uh, population, oh, that's, yeah, another bad thing. I could have stuck a city next to that and had a population boost. Um, may still want to do it, but we'll see. Okay, so... Right, let's get the production from that over here rather than... Well, it's only 2.8, but it'll add up. Rather than make a shipyard yet. Let's get a work camp uh, where? I think I'll stick it there, get a bonus off the capital. 
Right. So that is the free ship I just got and it's pretty rubbish. But at this stage in the game it might actually be useful. Who knows? Uh, let's stick it. Well, let's use it to explore a little bit around here, shall we? Best a bit of fog. <laughs> Not that it's going to do much. Um, right, let's colonize the Velkmacht system as well. So this is Artucapus Viralis again. So we're going to get a lot of this. Uh, so it's population and wealth. So I'm, that may change. Oh, you know what? I thought I was going to get that this turn. But I'm actually a bit short. So, if I'd have known that, would I have still gone for that option? Probably would have, but not 100%. Um, right. Oh, wow. Okay. That's better this time. Solar Flare. An increased period of solar activity has caused a species of previously dormant insects to suddenly begin swarming, greatly limiting activity in your colony. Your science have developed a sonic screen which can kill the insects, but believe there may also be a way to expand the technology to rid the world of the swarm forever. What effects that will have on the ecosystem are as yet unknown. What are your orders? So yeah, we get a massive food production here and there's a ton of food on this world. So that is crazy strong, potentially. And there's a pop boost off that. So a city there could be a good idea, although I would uh, waste the wealth bonus, but that's maybe not a big issue. Um, so that there, six adjacency bonus. Uh, so normally the pop cat would be plus three, but I would get 150% bonus. So this world could grow to huge levels, and of course population affects raw production, which affects all production here for basically all of those. Um, yeah, all of those, certainly. So that could be, yeah, this could be a great world. Could have massive raw production here, and there's asteroids nearby. Okay, so glad I got that. Should get that in two turns, as long as I'm the yaw don't get to it first, which, yeah, sadly may happen. Oh, let's turn off these as well. Did I remember that? This one, probably not. Okay. So, I think for the time being as well, I have uh, the production go to uh, there. Okay, so this is costing 46, and I'm getting 27-ish. Okay. Um, ideology, we can now pick this. Uh, right, so that has now increased my raw production. Uh, well, it doesn't actually go on to the raw amount, but in effect it is raw amount for these. So you can see here, Relentless plus 10, and uh, Relentless plus 10 there. So that means I can get that done in a turn. So this is really the power of uh, yeah, the motivation line. I can get ships out very quickly now. Eventually, there'll be like combat ships later on in the game. Uh, so that's going to be damn useful. Uh, in terms of production for this for the moment, let's stick that next to that. Get a one bonus. Am I going to want that there long term? No, I probably want approval or something next to it, maybe. I think I'll stick them a few down here. Okay, so what's the tax rate like? Uh, I got four colonies already. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm on the verge of already having Empire issues with approval. I think you can go a bit beyond it without too much problems. I certainly hope that's the case. Uh, because I can't change my government for about 26 turns or something now. Uh, right, so colonize that, send a colony down there, colonize that, and then we'll see. Enter. And uh, we've got another event. So which planet is this? This is Mom Batty 5. One issue I would say here is I can't go and check that world. I have to re remember which one it is. So I'm... Um, yeah, not in. I can't make an informed decision uh, very easily here. Um, 
Oh, this is temporary, so it's not a big deal at all, frankly. That's rare, getting a temporary one. Uh, I'll take the morale for five turns. That shouldn't be much of an issue. Super bacteria, supposedly. An attempt to create an improved antibiotic has instead produced a bacteria that is immune to our treatments. It has escaped the lab and your scientists warn that it is spreading on Mombati 5. It can be fatal to infants and the elderly. Right. So, yeah, that's there. I need to make influence here. Well, as soon as I can. I don't even have something that can make influence here. Uh, culture flipping them would uh, definitely be an interesting way to go. Oh, there's asteroids there. Uh, something which I would really like as well as for the notifications when asteroids come within your influence. Because if you don't spot it, then you miss it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, don't know if Stardust could do that at some point. I hope they do. Uh, let's buy these then. They're going to be 100 each. But that's basically a point of raw production. So it's damn nice. Should get those soon. Should start to get some of those as well. Got to be a bit careful with my money. Going to want to pick up more of these capsules, for instance. Which sometimes give money. Oh, tech boost. Nice. And actually completed that this turn. That's going to be damn useful. Let's choose a new tech. I'm tempted to come up here to get the iron drive for yet more movements. But maybe I need to... Uh, Start thinking about government picks. Maybe. Uh, I'm not sure how it's going to affect my approval here. That's the issue. Um, I'm not even sure which government I want. It's probably going to be... Yeah, it's probably going to be... Um, well, either that influence one, which I wouldn't usually take, but it might be useful in this circumstance. Or that one. That one's pretty good. Uh, you can send missions. Uh, the colony limit is 18, which maybe I'm not going to get near to. Um, but it's got two special ships, which are rather good. So extra construction and gross income and morale. Pretty nice. Uh, that one I'm not going to get because it's benevolent. It's that one. That one's research and trade routes. Trade routes are rubbish for the Drenjin. Cryptocurrency I'll definitely want to pick up at some point, but it's not that important at this stage. Uh, trade route there as well. That one's money. I'm terrible on research. So yeah, it's going to be one of those two. Okay. So, um... I think I'm going to go for the Iron Drive. Hopefully I can nab some more planets. I mean, I can find where they are, can't I, with this? So, if... Yeah, get them further afield. Uh, right. Let's come over to here. Nothing there. The Altarian should be over here somewhere. Find out what that is. Okay. More Haptals down there. So where the hell are the Al Wow, there's a lot down here. So where are the Altarians then? If they got that, it's kind of strange. Oh wow. Um, so that if they got that, it's probably over here. The Altarians could be very strong. They could have a lot of worlds down here. It's gonna be hard to get those. Uh. Right, we completed a colony ship again, so that one's going to get that. This one, I'm going to try and grab that one, I think, before the Altarians get it. Uh, when you colonize as well, it extends your range, so yeah, it's pretty damn important. If I have to, I'll have to make constructors at some point to extend my range if, uh, yeah, there's problems from that. Yeah, let's come down here then. Uh, right. I think I might colonize that one next just because I need the extra population in the home system. Okay. Uh, right, that was completed. I'm actually going to upgrade that 
that will get me a point in research then. I don't like to make any key decisions with my colonies until I've got the first terraforming thing, just to see where I can, what tiles I can get later on. That really helps a huge amount, so I definitely want to pick that up at some point. Uh, shipyards, uh, more colonies. Not sure I'm going to be able to get them out easily because I'm really low on population now here. But we'll make it. Oh, actually, didn't I just get a new uh, tech? Yes, I did. So I might want to change my ship design. Um, yeah, in fact, there's a couple of new ones here I've already made previously. So that one has three drives on it. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, oh, that's... Oh, yeah, that's out of date now. You can see I've got more cargo space from that tech I picked up earlier. So that one has two drives and lots of range, and that one just has three drives. I should probably start obsoleting some of um, these other ones, or in favor, I should say. Yeah, there's, at some point in all of the patches that come out for Galaxy 3, this has been improved a heck of a lot. It's much, much better than the uh, release of the game. Uh, there was no options here at all, basically, at one point. Uh, but now you can do all sorts like favor ships and remove them from this list so the list doesn't get to hundreds of ships like it once did. Uh, so it's a really good change. I'll start off there. Uh, let's unfavor that then. Uh, those two I keep. I guess I'll keep that one, but I probably won't make it. Uh, it's got nothing on it, that one. Um, these two cargo surveys are basically a construct the ship with a survey module on it. Haven't made one yet. Uh, let's uh, have a look at this one though. That's 90. What's the difference then? Um. Not really sure to be honest. Uh, I think I'll obsolete that one. I think that one's out of date. By obsolete, I mean unfavorite. Okay. Uh, oh, let's stick something in here then. Um, I'll go for that one then. I'll use that to colonize that. Right. Uh, this right space junk isn't that important, so I'm not going to go for that yet. I'll come up to find out what's up there. Okay, uh, right, let's end the turn. Cannot eject. Unreserved colony population is less than a minimum shipload. So yeah, I can't colonize. I'm really worried about my approval now. Oh, I forgot to do my tax rate last turn as well. That's not going to help. That's going to mean less people on Drangy. Uh, yeah, so that was a mistake. Got 0.1 instead of uh, 0.2, probably. Which, when I need a billion people, it's going to matter. So, let's come up here. No planets, sadly. I, wouldn't, I would quite lot, like a lot of planets up here, potentially, if there's no empire up here, which there might not be. There's two more empires, basically, so there's maybe one over there and one over there, I'm guessing. But who knows? Uh, right. That has two. Wow. Yeah, I don't think I got the best of starting locations here just because I'm too near to uh, other empires. Which is going to happen every now and then. Um, and they can get to these sooner than I can, probably, because they have movement bonuses. So this is going to be more difficult. Um, I guess what I'm going to do now is come down there and loop around and then maybe come back up here. This is so fast I should be able to do it without too much issue. Tempted to go down there in theory I might want a colony ship to get down there at some point. Right, there's nothing there. What's that? That isn't a your ship, that's actually a minor civilization. 
I put the miners on common uh, in the hope of maybe invading some later on if I did have issues with uh, colonizing. So who knows, maybe want to uh, try and conquer them at some point. Or I could just trade with them. Miners have changed a bit now. Used to be able to do diplomacy with them. That's no longer the case. So, uh, yeah. Uh, right, so let's put best and fog with that. Shipyard then. Right, I've actually got that there. Um... What is this one now? Oh, that's the fast one. Right, I'm going to colonize that with the if I can. No, I don't have the population. Okay, so how much... How much population have I got? i got 1.8, so I'm going to have to wait oh, one turn, I think, maybe. Uh, if I make that, it doesn't increase the growth, sadly. Yeah, I could do with getting a growth increase in tech, actually. It's debatable whether I should continue going down that line then, or maybe, or maybe go for something like that. But it's only 10%, it's not a huge amount. Um, there is that government there if I absolutely needed to get it. Okay, I'm going to go for that, I think, and then we'll go back after that iron drive. Since I can't make colony ships then, let's make this cargo survey. I can pick up more anomalies with it. I even bust the fog a little bit. Right. Still don't think I'm going to get that. Uh, oh, do I have movement left on that? Yes, I do. Okay, I should colonize that this turn. So, um, I don't think it's a reason not to. Oh, those are within range now as well. Let's get those. It takes a few turns to actually be made, these. 100 each. So, money's getting a bit low. I definitely need to pick up some more anomalies. Uh, this is hyper silicates. I guess I should te check uh, what bonus that gives, in, just in case I want to change my, the event I go for. Arguably, uh, maybe Stardock should let you see the colony, the land, before you have to choose the event, but you can't currently. Uh, that's a bonus to research, so any research of bonuses off this event would be a pretty good idea, more than likely. Oh wow, 